This is a demo of Alfresco Kafka working with Apache NLP uh, to do some metadata enrichment. So in the upper left hand corner we've got Alfresco running with the um, SDK and this is going to be running Alfresco 5.2 and uh, it has a content model in it, uh, just a tiny content model that has a single aspect called Enrichable and this enrichable aspect has three multi-value fields um, name entities, org entities, and location entities. What we're going to do is when we um, drop a, a PDF or a Word doc into Alfresco the um, Kafka will put a message on the queue and then uh, we'll have a Spring Boot app that's listening for uh, messages on the queue and when it sees that it will fetch the content from Alfresco via CMIS run it through uh, NLP and then um, that will extract the names, organizations, and locations from the content and then it writes that information back into metadata properties back into the repository. So um, we've got Alfresco running, we just need to get our Spring Boot application running so I'll fire that up. This is the same code that the um, example listener um, that I've talked about before. It's the exact same code, but obviously um, in the consume JSON method here, we are um, doing a little bit more work to go uh, fetch the object and then, um, and then actually process the node using, using Apache NLP. All right, so this is up and running. Let's jump into Alfresco share. And I've got a folder here called Enrichable Example that has a rule on it, and it adds that enrichable aspect to the node. And then the, um, the listener is checking for that aspect. So up here, I've got a bunch of uh, Wikipedia articles. These happen to be about um, JPL and NASA. And um, so I've just copied those into Word and uh, PDF format. I'll just drop those in to uh, Alfresco. And when that happened, Alfresco Kafka created a generic event in, um, representing the fact that a node changed, and those events went into a queue, and then you saw probably on the screen here, bottom right-hand corner, uh, the consumer started seeing those events and then processed those nodes. So we can go look and, um, at one of these. Let's look at this education one. These are all pretty small documents, just one or two pages. Um, that just, just ease of doing the demo. Um, you know, they could be as long as you as you wanted them to be. So here we have um, uh, some information about um, uh, educational resources and stuff like that at JPL. And then if we uh, scroll down and look at the uh, enrichable property, so it didn't find any. Uh, people's names, but it did find several organizations, and so it's listed those here, and then it found some locations, so United States, Mars, California, Pomona. Um, let's see if we can find one that has a little bit more interesting list. Go back out here and look at the, uh, the history document, for example. It may have a little bit more. Go check it out. Um, incidentally, we're using Apache Tika to extract the text, uh, so that text can come out of a lot of different formats. Uh, in this case, I'm just doing Word and PDF, but uh, it supports a lot of different formats. Um, so here we have um, just kind of the history of, um, of JPL, and then down here we found several, uh, several names that it's extracted out of that text, organizations, and locations.